Barrack Mitsubishi. My name is Mason, and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2017 Suzuki Vitara RTS. Now, this is a two wheel drive model, um, and as it is a used vehicle, what we'll do is run through the condition on the outside as well as some of the few features that you do get in this particular model. Now, taking a look at that front end, Suzuki badging located right in the middle. Uh, got this really nice big long headlights with the projector globes in there. Those are going to give you a really nice clear line of light. Down the bottom are daytime running lamps fitted right next to the fog lamps. And front end condition, I got to say, does present really well. Well, considering it is black, you tend to see a lot of damage and marks, but I can tell you that the front end of this car does, looks like, does look like it's been driven quite carefully. Now, coming across to the side, taking a look at that first alloy wheel, so you've got a five-spoke um, alloy wheel. Now, this room is in pretty good condition, apart from this very minor knock there. Um, it hasn't really damaged the rim, it's just a small little knock, but other than that, the rim is in good condition, and we have lots of tread on these tires as well. Quarter panel and paintwork on the driver's side seems to be pretty good, apart from a couple of scratches, which I will point out in a minute. Now, indicator lamp is fitted onto that quarter panel there, and above that is a small little kind of detail or accent, doesn't actually provide any uh, benefit to the vehicle. Color match side mirrors and door handles make the car blend in quite nicely. Um, now, you do get two keys with the car as well, and if I open this up so you can have a look inside the actual car, the car does come with cloth seats, so you've got this really nice dual tone finish, grey white uh, texture on the inside and the smoother black um, fabric on the outside. Now the seats are in good condition, seems if I'm being super super picky, there's probably just light colour fading just through the middle there, a little bit of dust in there, but other than that you can't really notice it, it's in pretty good nick. Now there are rubber floor mats at the bottom, doesn't look like genuine floor mats, but they are floor mats which will do the job just fine. Down the bottom, scuff. Uh, plate here the guard just does seem to present in reasonable condition considering the age and the vehicle door card also presents really well now the car does come with the privacy glass means the back glass is a little bit darker than the front that's just going to add a little bit of privacy to the vehicle but it's not going to add the same safety and protection as tint so make sure you ask us about this the car is black there's a lot of glass so you don't want to be exposed to all that heat and radiation and sun as well now as i said there are very minor marks so you can see there's one small hairline scratch just on the driver's door uh, sorry rear passenger door and also another one here just at the back probably brushed up against a bush having a look inside the back seats as well now you can see that the back seats also present in really good nick they got that same consistent design all the way through the vehicle present really well no stains or marks or damage that i can see and leather uh, rubber mat sorry fitted at the bottom now that second rim again seems to be pretty good apart from uh just this one little minor mark there but again, very, very minor markings, nothing to be too worried about, and lots of tread on those tires. Coming across to the tailgate, pretty standard, nothing out of the ordinary. Suzuki badging right in the middle, reverse camera mounted under that boot loop. There is a high mounted brake light, and in that brake light, there is that rear washer and the wiper for the back of the vehicle. Make sure you can have a good visibility on those rainy, uh, rainy days. Rear brake lights and reverse cameras, and also the reflectors fitted down the bottom. Now opening it up, the Vitara is a great small SUV, it is a two wheel drive model, very efficient, very hardy car, um, does come with your rear, uh, sorry, tether points for your baby seats, doesn't seem to have headrests from what I can see, um, so just keep, keep note of that, no headrests, a little bit of storage on the sides and if I lift this up, um, there is a, another compartment, probably just a storage compartment with that thing. And if you lift that up, there is um, your space saver spare wheel with your jacking tools to actually get the vehicle up and um, change your tire. But hopefully you never have to do that like the previous owner of this vehicle. Now coming around to the passenger side of the car, fuel filler cap is on that side, so safe side of the vehicle. When you need to hop out and change uh, on the side of the freeway, you're not going to be any in the way of any oncoming danger. Now there seems to be a slight scuffing just on the edging of the plastic and probably a very light mark here just on the rear door. Apart from that, pretty standard, nothing too major. That third rim is actually in pretty good nick. Again, seems like it might have had a minor scuff just on the edging of that spoke. And also here, uh, does that come off? No, yeah, a little bit of scuffing. But other than that, again, guys, it's very minimal markings are also there as well. It looks like it's probably picked up some paint more so than it's actually been damaged. Paintwork on this side is pretty good, nothing crazy. And a little scuff just on that side mirror. And taking a look at that fourth and final rim, you can see there are some markings there. It's probably had a scratch and the previous owners tried to touch it up, but it's very, very minor scratch. It really doesn't affect the rim that, uh, at all. And we've put brand new tires actually at the time of this video. So you've got four rims which are in reasonable condition. They do have some minor marks. New tires already fitted onto that for you. And guys, you've got a very decent Suzuki Vitara. So what we're gonna do is pop the hood and take a look inside.
Take a look inside the engine bay of the Vitara. Now you've got a pretty spacious engine bay. Uh, fuel, uh, sorry, washer and wiper fluids located here. Your coolant reservoir is just down there. Battery terminals and fuse box. Actually very open, easy to work around if you're quite handy with the vehicle. Now what we have here is Suzuki's four cylinder 1.6 liter petrol motor. Does come fitted with a six speed automatic gearbox. So lots of gears to actually shift through. This car is a five star ANCAP rating with seven airbags. So plenty and plenty of safety for the five passengers in the vehicle. Now this little motor produces 86 kilowatts with 156 newton meters of torque. Again, enough torque and power for any payload needs. Um, it does have a 47 liter capacity petrol fuel tank, can run on your regular 91 fuel and you're going to see combined fuel consumption of about 6 liters per 100 or an average fuel distance of about 783 kilometers off a full tank depending on how you drive and what kind of driving you're doing. Okay, now take a look inside that Vitara. Now you can see pretty standard on the inside. These are known for being quite simple, very easy to use and it just has all the real key important things that you need in a vehicle. So on the driver's side door, does have fully automatic driver's side window, the rest are just standard power windows. Above that is central locking, window lock controls and also your side mirror toggles. Now on the right hand side of the dash, first button is for your fog lamps and also your stability control and you've got a few extra blank spots if you maybe want to add a driving light or anything like that. Uh, right hand stock has your left and right indicator with headlight controls, now you can just leave it um, Oh, just standard headlight control, sorry. And on the left hand side are your wipers and washers for both the front and the rear. Now the steering wheel is a very, very comfortable soft leather stitch steering wheel. Very nice to hold, very easy to use. Now on the right hand side are your cruise control settings and the left hand side are your media controls. So mode, volume, seek and your mute button. And down the bottom there are three paddles for your call reject and voice control for your actual head unit of the smart link system. Uh, behind the steering wheel there are also a couple paddles uh, to go up and to go down to control your gears but I will touch on them in just a minute. Now coming over to the actual center console. So got this uh, cool vents here, they're pretty standard across the front. Also has this round um, analog clock. It's out by one hour but don't worry about that, daylight savings. But very nice feature, I think it looks quite good. Uh, below that is also the touchscreen head unit. Now this head unit is a very nice uh, display. It is pretty much a new display across the Suzuki range. So even if you look at the Jimny's and some of the other cars, they pretty much run this same system. So you've got four quadrants. Top left quadrant is for your music. Top right quadrant, or your entertainment, sorry. Top right quadrant is for your Bluetooth connectivity for your mobile. Bottom right is your smart link system, so um, to connect your phone up and mirror it on the screen. And bottom left is for your navigation. So all you have to do is simply press on one of those quadrants and that's going to prompt you to open up pretty much what you want so you can see the maps open up 20 to 32 Kangen Drive and you can actually access each one of those quadrants from the, the dials at the top here so if I want to go to my music I can just press that that'll take me to music and your maps move over there so pretty much whichever one you tap um, will kind of I'm just trying to play around with it. Oh, these aren't set up, so that's probably why it's being a little bit weird. But yeah, very nice, laid, very nicely laid out. You can adjust it as well if you wanted to move move some things around. But very nice uh, system on and off, and you've got your volume here and all your home buttons here. But it's like a haptic feedback ses, uh, setup. Hazards like right in the middle, and your AC system with your temperature on the left, climate control, and your fan speed on the right, and all your hard buttons uh, below that. There is a 12 volt socket and a USB input there for your smart link and also your charging little storage compartment and this nice gear shifter which if I bring this into reverse you'll see that really clear rear view camera mounted just under the boot lip as I pointed out on the outside very easy to actually um, identify yourself and you can see the rear bar there quite clearly as well now if I bring this down into drive that is going to be a standard drive mode but if I flick it down once more that's going to engage what they call an M or manual now you can actually control the gears yourself if you wanted a bit more extra torque maybe you're going up a hill need a bit of extra power you can do that and then you can just knock it back into drive like so or just leave it in drive and it's going to do the job just as well bit of storage two cup holders and a manual handbrake uh, and another storage compartment behind that now get the camera person just pan around as i said it is a very clean vehicle no damage to the actual car itself Seats are in very good nick. They are missing the headrests on the back of the car, but other than that, it is in pretty good condition. So what we're gonna do now is jump outside and wrap up the video. Thank you much for watching the walk around video on this 2017 Suzuki Vitara RTS. Now, it is a very nice compact SUV. Um, these guys have a great reputation, great on the market, and you can see this car actually presents pretty well for its age and for what it is. Now, if you do have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. But just before I go, this car does actually qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. 
Now what that will offer you is five years additional protection on 181 electrical and mechanical components of the vehicle and that's going to cover you up to 200,000 kilometers. In addition to that, you will also get 10 years platinum roadside assistance nationwide. So if you're going to be buying a Vitara, I'm going to assume that you like the outdoors, you're going to be traveling a bit and doing a bit of exploring, so there's great value in this. With that, I would also highly recommend you talk to us about our glass coat and tinting. Um, that is going to give you a lifetime warranty on this nice black paintwork and it's going to package it in with some tinting for you, which I would at least highly recommend you talk to us about our tinting packages because we all know the benefits of tint and, you, and I recommend it on almost every vehicle you pick up. So. These two things are at an additional cost. However, if you're using our in-house finance, we'd love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mario, who show just some minimal diesel effective repayments. Now lastly, but most importantly, jump on a Google, search up Beric Mitsubishi and see what people have to say about us. With over 1,100 reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, gives you the assurance that you're dealing with the right people, the right kind of business for a good quality vehicle. Now, as I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Nathan. Thank you so much for watching.